dancing on a cloud, soaring up so high. Watch me now, watch me now. Did you tell me this was over? Happy birthday, Michael Jackson. I wanted to give my flowers and show my appreciation for the greatest artist to ever live on his birthday. Again, happy birthday, Michael Jackson. I wanted to react to what is, what is in my opinion, the most like underground, uh, unknown interview of Michael Jackson's, but I think it's his best interview. If you wanna know why, we, you're gonna find out why. <laughs> With that being said, this is Hayes. Hayes sounds why they call me. Let's go. Look at Michael. It's a nice scene. Huh? Just relaxing. So, how do you deal with the schedule? Pardon? How do you deal with the schedule you had? Um, I guess I deal with my schedule. You just gradually you get used to it. You go day to day with the re the routine. Um, I get presented a schedule every morning, and I fulfill it. I found out this morning that I was going to be doing this. Wow! And uh, That's get crazy. out of her ear. And um, <laughs> wait, what? Hold on, hold on, run it back. First of all, the, on the wake up to find out you got to do an interview is crazy. But that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. It's almost like the president. Like, he just gets th things put on his desk and got to read over it. Like, okay. Um, I get presented a schedule every morning, and I fulfill it. I found out this morning that I was going to be doing this. Look at his hair. And uh, Bill, get out of her ear. Bill, get out and, of her ear? Um, I just it's something you just get used to doing. It's part of your work. Just fulfilling uh, your job as an entertainer or whatever. Hmm. It's fun to be at home sometimes, just relax like this. Oh, that's the photo. I'd tell you about the dance. I'll bring you to the Uh, <clears throat> I think it's very important because as a performer, <laughs> you can perform, but if you don't have anything to, to play back off of, to bounce off of, um, Your performance isn't as uh, dynamic. I, I think the fans will get the energy. Yeah. Uh, you play off of them. The, can you hear me? Yeah. Um. Look at the photos. The energy is not fast enough. Whenever it talks about how they feel about the music, uh, behind the top of the that is music. Gosh, it's, it's hard to explain. It's um, it's something that I guess you're just born with. <laughs> you feel the music. It's like a painter, I guess. You, just, you approach the camera. Oh, talking about create, like how does he create? Let's run it back just a little bit. Basically, how does he create? Or you know. Uh, Inspiration. Whatever, yeah. Gosh, it's, it's hard to explain. It's um, it's something that I guess you're just born with. <laughs> you feel the music. It's like a painter, I guess. You, just, you approach the canvas with the paint and the brush, and you're inspired by things around you, I guess, and what's inside of you. And you do it, and uh, and I like creating magic. <clears throat> Dancing on a cloud, soaring up so high. Watch me now, watch me now. I'm Peter Pan. I can do anything. What? Like, I would have just let Michael go. Like, I would have asked no more questions. Like, just keep doing what you're doing, Michael. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just here. Like what? 
Like, bro, he just his voice is so angelic, bro. And the fact that this is probably a song, I forget what it's called, that he was working on that he's singing right now that he never put on the album. I'm like, Michael, why do you not put this on an album? Also, I'm surprised he never called an album magic. I always thought that's something he was going to do, especially watching this interview. Just like, man, just let's run this back real quick. I just love his voice, man. Like, let's run it back real quick. I guess you just you approach the canvas with the paint and the brush and be inspired by things around you, I guess, and what's inside of you. And you do it. And uh and I like creating magic. <clears throat> hey, see what a cloud soaring up so high. Watch me now, watch me now, on feet of pain, I can do anything. The next question, when I explain magic, I mean wonderment, um, excitement, um, the unexpected, escapism. Creating something that's so incredible, an illusion. Uh, to put people in a situation, no matter what it may be, and give them totally the opposite of the unexpected, so much more than what they thought would happen. I mean, just blow their mind. That's, I like creating magic, excellence. I, I love doing that. Ah, nothing like it. <laughs> I try to do it in everything I do, really. That definitely explains his music videos. It's just like you were never thinking to do like what he did for Thriller or Bad or Smooth Criminal or like you just never think to do Remember the Time. Like the thing of the song, Remember the Time. And it'd be like, let's take us back. Let's take it back to Egypt. <laughs> let's go back to Egypt and let me just become sand <laughs> and try to like get this queen out this castle like what what would make you it's just like yeah man like nobody that's why like nobody thinks about music and like artistry the way michael did man he was on the, he was in the, on, in his own world bro like it's crazy like man i wish i had like an ounce of what this the creativity of this man bro <sighs> The ideas from the songs I get, I've always said that I don't write my own song because I feel I'm just a source and just a tunnel or two through which they come. I feel somewhere in space they've all been written before. I mean, Billie Jean and Beat It and all those songs have been up there somewhere. It just came yeah. through to me. That's how I really feel. So I, I, even though I did it, I just can't always take credit. It's like any great artist at this, Leonardo da Vinci. I mean, he's doing it, but it's some other higher force that's making it happen. <laughs> <laughs> look at Michael's like. Look at Michael's face after he says that. Like, just run that back. Just run that back again. Explaining his like, how does he create again? Like, just that answer is just insane. Like, for Michael to say, I don't create these songs. It comes from another source, uh, uh, another another uh, universe, right? I'm just a vessel. Like, just like, what? I think he said it also in the 87 interview uh, with Ebony. Like, I'm just a vessel. Like, I don't create this. Like, to be so humble, like, Michael, like, you created, the, like, the greatest albums or songs ever. He's like, no, I didn't create that. It's like, What? Like, name me another artist that would be that humble and like that. Man, bruh! That's why we love this brother, man. Yeah. But I love that answer again. Just run it back that answer real quick. And give him totally the opposite of the unexpected. So much more than what... The ideas from the songs I get, I've always said that I don't write my own song because I feel I'm just a source and just a tunnel or two through which they come. I feel somewhere in space they've all been written before. Wow. I mean, Billie Jean and Beat It and all those songs have been up there somewhere. It just came through to me. That's how I really feel. So I, I, even though I did it, I just can't always take credit. It's like any great artist at this, Leonardo da Vinci. I mean, he's doing it, but it's some other higher 
force that's making it happen. <laughs> it's so wonderful, day. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> First of all, Michael's fit with the, like the all red with the sweater, in the in the button up. But he got that he got that shit on. <laughs> and I can't get over the hair though, like bro, it's like a perm Jerry curl press. Like I don't even like it's crazy, like, baby hair, bro. Like what? That's crazy, bro. That baby hair is baby hairing, bruh. Uh, let me send you a text, man. Yes. Yes. How did you know that? <laughs> That's very true. I um, I think kids are very special. They're, I think they're the greatest inspiration for me. Kids and animals and God, stuff like that. Um, I can't even explain them. They're so magic. When I'm around them, I feel more alive, I think, than anything. Um, I feel like I can do anything. They're, um, God, they charge me. They give me innocence. They really do. I think the majority of my success is um, from uh, has been the inspiration of kids. I really do. I never, I don't think I've ever done an interview outside. Trees and bushes watching me. Put them together. Did you say trees and bushes watching me? Run that back real quick. I'm sorry, I just, hold on. God, they charge me. They give me innocence. They really do. I think the majority of my success is um, from, uh, has been the inspiration of kids. I really do. I never, I don't think I've ever done an interview outside with trees and bushes watching me. Put them together. Interesting. But yeah, like that explains, this explains his love for kids because kids are innocent. They don't have no motive. They just like know what they know, right? They look at things as is. They don't have any type of alter, alter, uh, alternative motive or anything like that. So, and again, if you know the history of Michael Jackson's life and all the people that have portrayed him for friends and family, every like almost everyone around him has portrayed him, even some kids. <laughs> like, but for the most part, it's like he trusts kids. That's like the only people he can trust because, again, they don't, they just want to be a kid. They just want to, you know, again, they just want, they just take things as is. So, again, that explains the his love for kids and why he always have, have them around and the energy and just the youth, right? Like, if you see the kids, it's like, man, I, you, when, you, when you get old, you're like, man, I wish I could go back to those days, bro. Because, man, just not have no bills, just living your, living your best life. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, I kind of, I'll do have entertainment, but, Pardon? Well, uh, the reason why I like the house I live in, I the whole theme of it, I want it to be mainly to kids. Um, because when they come here, I like to be inspired by their reaction, <clears throat> by seeing them have fun. By their joy. That's why I like to go to Disneyland a lot. I like seeing them have fun. I go there to get my daily dose of inspiration, uh, if I can. And uh, when I come back, I'm ready. I'm ready to take on everything. It's really great. It's, uh, it's magic. Their eyes, their face, their expression, the characters. The thing, the thing that you know, he writes these songs. He writes these songs for everyone, but he write these write these songs right to like give motivation, inspiration, and give energy and light to the youth, so that when they get old, hopefully 
they live out their dreams or believe in the impossible. Like that's when I think of when I listen to Michael's music and I listen to it, I think the uh, I think of the humanitarian humanitarianism is that a word? <laughs> I, I think of like just the hope and, and joy and just wanting to live out my dreams when I listen to Michael. Like that's why. He is who he is. That's why everybody loves him because that's his music. It's love, it's passion, it's it's hope, it's joy, all that. Like, man, I can't imagine a world without Michael Jackson, man. Like, there's a lot of great other artists, but nothing like Michael, bro. Like, there's just there was not there's not nothing like anything close to a Michael, man. And again, him breaking down this process of how he finds his inspiration through kids. And write songs for them, and it's just like man, this bo- this brother was special, dog. Magic. Magic. You see, we're doing a new album right now. It's the Jacksons album, and I'm writing several songs on it. The latest one I'm writing is called Buffalo Bill. It's about Will Cody, the cowboy, and how he died. And um, I'm I'm really excited about it because I really I I, I hate to say I know it's gonna be a hit, but <laughs> I really so I feel strong about it. I don't think then I'm out. writing a song um, about a uh, Liberian girl, about a Liberian girl, and uh, I'm excited about that. I'm excited about all my projects. <laughs> so this is right before Thriller. Is and there. I'm just living day to day. Oh, no, no, Dreaming no. and wishing upon stars and all. Oh, no, this is after, because Liberian, I don't know why I thought Liberian Girl was on Thriller. Liberian Girl was on Bad, so. It's like, so he wrote that, like, this is 83? So he wrote Liberian Girl in 83. Wow. This is crazy to hold on to songs like that. Like, if I had a song like that, I would put that out <laughs> so quick. But then again, it was a different process. It wasn't internet. There wasn't streaming. Um... But yeah, to have Liberian Girl back in 83. Wow. And uh, I'm excited about that. <clears throat> I'm excited about all my projects. <laughs> and I'm just living day to day, dreaming and wishing upon stars and all that natural stuff. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm a lot of people don't have Yeah, yeah. A lot of things going on at the same time. Are we making magic here? <laughs> Let's go in the back. Oh. Go in the back where the Tivoli lights are. <laughs> oh, man. Why don't you guys tell me you were shooting? I'll be right down. One sec, okay? Hold on. Remind me of uh, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. <laughs> My God. It's dusk. The moon is out. Most beautiful part of the day. I can see some of the stars coming out. It's very beautiful. Everything comes to life. The fireflies are in the trees and everything's becoming magic. It's, it is I would say it is my favorite part of the day, dawn and dusk. There's a certain magic about it. Um, it does seem like everything uh, that prey up on the night starts to, you know, come out, be it the creatures, be it the, the birds that return to their nests. I like dawn also. Some psychologists say that that dusk, for, for a lot of creative people, you, you reach your alpha state subconsciously and you become more creative in certain parts of the day. But for me, it can be any time, you know. Mm. I am, I just like creating. It's no special time, but this is really magic to me because it's like, um, it's like a painting. It's very artistic. It's magic. It's so wonderful. Just the sound of water is magic. It's really beautiful. So relaxed. Mm. 
Hmm. Oh my God, Mike. <coughs> Bro, what was that? Hold on, what am at? What am at? <laughs> it's like he's in constant. If you remember, um, if you haven't seen the movie Hook, oh my God, I love the movie Hook. But Robin Williams, God bless his soul. Like, this is what Michael Jackson reminds me of. Like, or even you can say Jack. For, but like Hook, when there were the kids were trying to, oh my God. What a great analogy. Like, I'll tell you. Like, I really thought about, God, what a great analogy. When the kids had to remind um, Robert Williams, his character, that he's Peter Pan. And it's like, you have to imagine. You have to believe. You don't become Peter Pan until you actually believe. Right? And then he starts going back and forth with uh, um, Rufy. Oh. And then he, he actually throws imaginary food at him, and it becomes alive, and it's colorful. Right? That's what I think of Michael Jackson. Like, he is that scene. Like, we might, oh, man. I don't know the, we, we'll have to, we, we got to watch it. We got to watch it. I'm going to have to watch the whole, I might have to watch the whole movie, but we got to watch that scene maybe after this. But, yeah, like, it's just his imagination. Just the, it made me think of um, uh, Ghost when he was doing the, uh, too bad about it. And he just said, not just scream and shout it like yo, just a ah. Oh god, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm geeking, I'm geeking right now. My bad, my bad. Hold on, okay. <laughs> um, fellow lights man here on the house. What kind of a movie you trying to capture? What did you have in mind? I think with any type of creation, you create what's inside of you. Um, subconsciously, what influences you? I'm a fantasy fanatic, and uh. Mm-hmm. Anything that take you off into another world, escapism, um, mm. that's what I like. Um, I'm not so crazy about the reality of everything. I like a lot of fantasy, and that's what I try to create, to get away, to become moved, to become moved. Dancing on a so you up so high. Watch now. Watch me fly. I'll be just I can do anything. I saw her so high. I am forever. It's it's a magic. Oh it's hard to explain it. <laughs> I feel like I could just jump up, I swear, and take off, but nothing too hard about it. I might like, do it. <laughs> you can feel, you can feel, um, oh the energy, God. everything around you. You just feel it. Energy from the moon, uh, the plants, everything around you. It's wonderful. I um, I think nature, and animals, and all those things are very inspirational to my work. I play off of those things with children, in um, it stimulate ideas, uh, it creates all kind of things. I just can't tell you. I think the majority of my success is from these sources. And some people say, "Well, go into detail. It's hard. You really can't." It's just the whole world of it. You just play off a of life. I think it's the same thing what inspires painters and sculptors and people of the arts. It's the whole world of it. It's just magic. What I like to do is, um, I'll probably get my sister down here. I mean, just, we'll just fool around and talk. And she'll tell you some of her magic experiences and stories. Yeah, man. It was like, what do you say to that? <laughs> just, 
Man, this is my favorite interview, bro. Like the sources, right? The universe, the plants, the trees, the the animals, the kids, like the sources. Um, man, it really, it really, it really is unreal. Like Michael really felt like a Mandela effect. Like we all lived, <laughs> like this experience that you can't believe you experienced. Like we can't believe. We experienced this human being. Like, it's not, Michael was not real. It just, it don't feel like he was real, man. And just knowing that he is a performer, so he sees a camera, no matter how he's feeling, we, like, we, there's been constant stories of Michael going through hell, through whatever. But you put a camera in his face, you give him a microphone, he's going to perform. So just seeing that, and that one song, I am forever, I feel like there's a, there's a song he created. It's a demo. I am forever. I'm gonna have to look it up. Cause I'm like, what does he keep? He keeps singing that one thing. I'm like, there's no way he didn't put that on a, on a track, even if he didn't release it. Um, I am forever. I actually, oh wait, 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 wait. I think I reacted to that. I think um, was it on Mike? Was it on Michael? Yeah, there's a song. I am forever. It might have been on Michael. I got to go back to that. But, yeah, just, like, to see his thought process and his joy, that, like, genuine joy he gets when he just spaces out in, like, daydreams and fantasy, right? I don't like reality that much, but I love fantasy. Like, there you go. <laughs> what are you talking about? So my water. What? What's on right my here. Life? I don't know what it is. <laughs> It's about important. And it's off now. It's off. You it's see it? Important. I don't care. Anyway, I was just talking oh, about... Wait. <laughs> <dumb. laughs> I was just talking about the dusk and the magic of dawn. Will you be quiet, you fathead rascal? <laughs> and I, what I wanted to ask you was, what inspires you? Musically or what? Anything. I mean... What inspires you uh, to create things? By the way, shout out to Latoya and that fit. That fit is fitting. I'm just saying, respectfully. Let's go. Musically mm -hmm. or makes you feel good? What? I would I would say the sound of the ocean. I like the beach. Huh? And musically, that inspires me because I see the creation of God. When I hear, listen to all the different sounds, the ocean and that roar. That's, that's what I spoke there. about earlier. Oh, really? I said the same thing. You're yeah. kidding. See, you think I like. Um, what, what do you think is the main thing you want to do in the future? What's your ultimate goal? Hmm. My ultimate goal is to be a multifaceted performer, uh, such as Barbara Streisand, Diana Ross. I think actually they're the only two that have really combined music as well as acting together. Same with David Jr. That's true. And that's what I'd like to do. Same with David Jr. Of course, friend. everybody wants to be where you are right now, but. That's what I'd like to do. I haven't done anything. Oh, but I, I yeah. just started. Just mm. beginning. That's so I like fly. being your thing. Well, it's so high. Watch me. Out. It's cold, Michael. No, it isn't. It's magic. How can you say it's cold? It's a wonderful night. It's magic out here. <laughs> Are you cold, really? I'm not. A little bit. Well, because of the water that, you know, it's falling over. It's, it's clear. It's beautiful. It's, it's wonderful out here. So, the um, falls look pretty. Yeah, very pretty. It's, it's pretty nice. Pretty nice. It's, it's the perfect thing to be doing this tonight. Really. I remember this for a long time. Anyway, um, what else would you like to, to say? Some of your dreams? No, no. Oh, dreams in life? Yes. <laughs> I thought you were those terrible dreams I had. No. <laughs> I got an idiot for our sister, folks. <laughs> <laughs> got my training from him. <laughs> Any of what else? Uh, what are some of your other dreams? Uh, there's so many. I'd like to be right now where you are. That's uh, my biggest dream. That's got to be crazy to hear. <laughs> that's got to be insane to hear from your sibling. <laughs> It'd be like, I want to be where you are. I'm like, what? <laughs> that got to be crazy as hell. Like, I am. Mm. She's saying that. Because I haven't done it all. Yes, you have. And so every every artist happened. would like to be in your shoes. And that's where I'm, since I'm an artist, just starting, just beginning, that's where I'd like to be. 
That's very flattering. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> but there's so much more. It really is. Well, of course, movies. I don't like when people limit themselves. I don't. No, of course. We have I a lot in common. Of course, movies. Mr. Lynn. And... I'd love to do movies. Yeah. Anyway. You, you know what it reminds me of right now? What? Paris. It's in the night does. Yeah, it does. You're just listening to the waterfalls and the lights. I like Paris. It's my favorite place. You ever I... been to Europe? You got it? Isn't it nice? I love it. Where have you been? Where were you Cuba? born? Cuba? You've been in Germany? Oh. Oh. Wish I could say that. <laughs> I love Germany. I'm oh, from Indiana. My favorite is Paris. Oh, oh really? She's what? Half Indian. East oh, Indian or American Indian? East Indian. Okay, that's more like it. I'm, I'm, she knows I'm a big fan of East Indian. Oh, is that Bill, why you said that? Who are my people? <laughs> we know people. What, what, like, His what ancestors. race I, no, what race I really like? No, East Indian. I think they're really beautiful, and the darker they are, the more beautiful. Bill! Excuse me. Can you close that door? Huh? Your voice is very irritating. I know, I hate this girl. sound like Carol Burnett. Can you close that door, Bill, please? Thank it's you. Cool. It's, it's cool, because you never really get to see Michael be a brother or, like, a sibling. So a part of me is like, I love, like, he got this, his sister down here. Because just to see him, like, as a brother and sibling, just to goof around, like, just because. Like, to see, I'm like, I think, like, where does he get these certain um, um, ideas from and things of that nature? It's like, it's probably talking to his sisters like Latoya and things of that nature. Like, they probably converse all the time about certain things. Um yeah, it's just dope to see Michael as a brother like you. Yeah, I got I got to hear that for our sister. <laughs> Man, Michael should have definitely went into acting though. Anyway, I think uh, we've captured some good magic here, and um, I think it's a good time to close this. Uh, maybe we could sing a quick song. All right, what do you want to sing? Jingle bells. No. <laughs> What, what should we sing? We don't have that um, much time. Let's make it quick. Uh, never can say goodbye. Okay. Never, never can, can say goodbye. No, 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 no. I never can say goodbye. You take it. Even though the pain and the heartaches hey. seem to follow me wherever I go. Hey. Though I try and try to hide my feelings, they always seem to show. It's that same old dizzy hangout that keeps me going over. Isn't this terrible? I don't even know Tell the lyrics. why. <laughs> this is our ending. <laughs> is it so? Da, 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 da. Don't want to let you go. Hey. Is that it? That's it. Oh, okay. Let's go. Keep quiet. Yeah. Like on the shelf. Oh. Oh, the camera. <laughs> I know. What is that? I've been on television. <laughs> I still love to be filmed. Not because I'm vain. I am so. That could kill you. Not because I'm vain. I like making at? magic. Of course, honey. <clears throat> <laughs> of course, honey. That was Michael Jackson, my favorite interview of his, talking about his writing process, his inspiration, his motivation on how he creates using the sources, the, the, the universe, the trees, nature, animals, kids. Uh, please go watch this interview uh, on your own as well. I watch it every... Uh, periodically, just to you know, give me inspiration when I'm when I'm uh, down and out. But uh, yeah, that's Michael, man, at his finest. Like, comment, subscribe, share all the things, other things. Ain't gotta go home. Do gotta get the step plan. Peace. His magic.